headwear, but it wasn't to that extent. Exactly. Different dancing, different everything. Mm -hmm. You go to powwows. Tried. Sorry to interrupt. But you go to powwows, and you see these dancers in their beautiful regalias, and they represent their tribes. They represent their traditions, their custom cost customs. Right. And it's all completely different from each other. Right. And that's what makes it so beautiful. And, you know, just in general, you know, we've, as um, AIM and American Indian Movement of Santa Barbara Chapter, we've worked a lot on the mascot issue, sacred symbols and images, and um, bringing them back to the powwow, <coughs> when you see the dancers coming, and they're in the dance arena, and they're in their, they're in their traditional regalia, and off to the side in the booths, you see, um, and some of them, some powwow, Organizers are really particular about what they allow to be sold, but you see the fake tomahawks, the fake drums, the bow and arrows, the headdresses, rings and jewelry, the people that come in their the Pocahontas outfit, mm -hmm. and that <laughs> it's a joke. It is a joke, and, and then the little kids running around with pink feathers and like mm -hmm. yeah. Me and my cousin mm -hmm. actually attended a powwow and. We saw a little girl running around in her pink headdress, and it was a big insult. First and foremost, that shouldn't be sold because the vendors, I mean, the powwows that allow the vendors to sell it, then themselves are allowing other people that are to mock us, to make right. fun of us. So uh, now, um, you know, we have we have contacted MTV and voiced our opinions. You know, it's, it's time now that this stereotyping has gone on for far too long. Um, and we have contacted M MTV about our objections to all of the um, stuff that was viewed in these, um, this video or this um, episode of MTV. It's Dootson. Um, I think what we're going to do now is we're going to go to um, the pics of the Dootsons so we can have some discussion on the particular photos. We can get those to roll. There we are. Photos. Yeah, there they are catching fish in their mouth. Because according to them, we do that. According to them, we catch fish with our mouth and act like idiots. What is that? <laughs> what is like? Oh, wow. Oh, there they are, going off a hill in the With water the in a canoe. Look at the headdress again. Oh, that's the one that he uh, declared being a Squaw Monthly. Oh, nice. Yeah, real nice, right next to the totem pole. I mean, let's just make it a complete stereotype. But yeah, uh, back to the... Um, him calling himself Squaw Monthly. Squ Squaw, that's a pretty, uh, a derogatory. Pretty, uh, pretty derogatory term. I mean, a squaw is the equivalent of calling um, a person of African-American descent a nappy-headed hoe, which someone did actually do. I believe his name was John um, Imus. Don Imus. Imus or yeah. Imus? Don Imus. Yeah, he yeah. did it, and it was a complete black backlash, and didn't he lose his job over it? And it didn't. Ha it didn't take very long for that to happen. Within it was all the over the media, and the, everybody yes. knew about it, and everybody agreed. Wow, he! I can't believe he said that. But it's like, for us, and we're a race too. And people hear it, and they're like, Yeah. So bottom line, like, we're <laughs> all people. We should all get the respect that other people get. Right. We're not some separate being. We are all people. We should all get equal respect. It shouldn't just be, oh, it's so. It shouldn't be okay to make fun of Native Americans, but not okay to not attack another race. Yeah, racism. I mean, it, it racism needs to end. Racism and is racism. Bottom line. Exactly, and um, the media, popular media, just has such an enormous. Um, number of viewers so it's terrible that that many that many people had to view this particular episode um, but however we are getting um, a lot of response regarding the way that people are feeling about this um, so 
um, the American Indian Movement, Santa Barbara chapter, did contact MTV, um, and there was a statement sent to them. And this was really after doing some research on their website. They have um, they have something on their website called it says "Fight for Your Rights" with the slogan of "Speak Out and Stand Up Against Violence." Okay, and this is to bring forth awareness on America's crime, drugs, and violence issues, and promoting social and political and environmental activism in young people. So we did contact MTV. Um, we did tell them of our objections and how much this has offended people. Uh, and their response really was very minimal. It was kind of, uh, it wasn't our intention. Was there, e there wasn't even an I apology think, issued into it, was there? I think there? they no. thought it was okay because Sagnall was in the show and they they kept saying, oh, we want to be Native Americans because they're so great. And they brought up stuff like that. But what they didn't realize was what they were doing was totally opposite. Right. And the truth is that year, whatever you were born into your culture, your blood. You can't change that. You can't become Native American by catching fish with your teeth, or <laughs> crashing your canoe, <laughs> or sending your car and flying and yeah. No, you can't do that. Yeah. So, um, so MTV said you know that wasn't their intentions, but in fact they did offend people, and they offended a lot of people. Um, we asked that they um, have a public apology and really be accountable for their actions publicly because they as the media needs to say you know what we did wrong we did wrong and we want to fix it and that hasn't happened so um and i mean it's my understanding that this show airs internationally right yeah i know it is it's just as it's on the internet it's, it's on, also it's so, on the internet so. so pretty much anybody can watch this right and if they're if they're um aiming for their demographic to be like manisha within that 1725 out of high school, college range, right? They're gonna give the misconception of Native Americans. This is gonna fall into the whole ignorance. They're gonna transform these youth that are still learning and their brains are still fresh to absorb everything into ignorant people who think Native Americans are like that and Native Americans act that way. Right. So now it's. I mean, it's really time for us to take a stand and really just to 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 get out there and say, you know what, this is not right, and we're not gonna stand for it. You know, it's happened amongst other cultures, and other cultures, people are aware of it. You know what? We better not say this. Don Imus learned. He better never say that again. Um, so, you know, we we have garnered a lot of support from other groups, and, um, you know, some at their own initiative after seeing the show. Um, Manisha, you have a statement from the NAACP of uh, the Los Angeles chapter. Um, can you read that statement for us? Yeah, it says... In regard to the recent MTV's Dudesons episode entitled Cowboys and Findians, Leon Jenkins, the president of Los Angeles chapter and NAACP has responded. Here's the message. To the producers of the Dudesons television series and the MTV executives, after watching your episode of Cowboys and Findians, we find it very appalling that you would actually produce such an insensitive and irresponsible program. Once again, this reminds us all that there are still those who refuse to strive for a positive future, so instead live in the ignorance of the past. Showing such vile material does nothing in the advancement of education, rather in misforms of our American youth who merely strive for true knowledge. Native Americans are human beings, and it and is, as is every person of every race on earth. There is diverse culture des deserves respect. We agree that an apology is in order as well. The episode should be dropped. MTV should be very much ashamed for what they have done and should use more common sense when choosing what programs to produce. Leon Jenkins, president in NAACP Los Angeles chapter. Okay. So one of the things that he said in there is that um, Shows like this produce a lot of misconceptions about Native Americans. For you, Manisha, you're in high school right now, and um, what kind of um, interactions that you've had 
with other students there where you really had to clarify some things about Native American people because of the non-education that they're getting in the school system. Mm 